Do you remember Edward VIII and his love for the divorced Wallace Simpson? It was a relationship forbidden by the Anglican Church. Shaping Scars, this experimental dance cinema piece. This is a great example on how you can make a film with very simple ingredients and it works. It's a very simple set. There's only three people. It's a very simple piano score. Uh, what is not simple is the choreography, which was amazing. I'd almost like to watch it again because I was listening to the music so much I was not paying full attention to the narration. So that, you know, it, it's four, three or four simple ingredients and they made a wonderful short film and probably didn't spend a lot of money to get this on, get this done. I'm very impressed by the result. It was beautiful in its simplicity. I enjoyed the dance so much that sometimes I, unlike the, the previous comment, and I didn't hear the poetry. Mm -hmm. I was just mesmerized by their movement and the depiction of the, the emotions one by one as each one came through. And the story that was being told in that dance, it was just, you know, so, so powerful. And you could see that it, it didn't even matter at that point whether they were two females, they were two males, or one male, one female. Their gender didn't matter at all. It was just that love between two people and the love that's trying to transcend whatever um, hurdles that that love is facing. And it could be with anybody. You know? and, and, the, and, and those two dancers, of course, portrayed it so beautifully. And with the lighting, I love that lighting, the really soft lighting. It almost gave it a timelessness to that whole sequence which was in complete contrast to the previous one, which had so much of color and so much of contrast in, in each shot, but this had almost no contrast and was so subtle, all the tones kind of blending one into the other. So it was a beautiful aid to see them together, both equally powerful, but also so different. The ruby of passion, emerald adventure in a sapphire calm. Everything I aspired to stared back at me when our pupils aligned. In contrast to the other two, I was very much listening to the poem and thinking that the dance was such a wonderful way to tell it because you could see, imagine other people doing a much more literal interpretation of either the past or present people in it and yet this dance just really made it work in such a metaphorical way that you know, really was a perfect marriage of the two. I think what makes the choreography especially impressive in this one is that there was a um, third body involved that we didn't see, which was the camera uh, person uh, who was, the, the camera work in this one, specifically the moving camera shots were amazing, given that um, the, there clearly was someone just working a steady cam, moving with the dancers who would have had to have been practicing the whole dance with them the whole time considering those moving shots were absolutely stunning. Um, and I just wanted to see more and more of them because they were so, I think there was one sequence where they were, where they moved rolling over each other from the couch to the bed and the camera rotated around them the whole time. It was really, really gorgeous. But just to nail that one uh, so well would have taken a lot of effort and time to practice. I was really impressed by this piece, uh, mostly because it's so relatable. Um, the story that is de being depicted is, I feel, every love story that you can ever live is this one. Uh, it's uh, how you meet and how you go so deeply into it, how you pour yourself into the relationship, and how it ends is often like this. There's a withdrawal. Um, and the feelings you are left with, uh, even though you're not together anymore, but the, the different scars and how you move on after with the memories. Uh, and I think it, it was said before, it was just great because it, it can apply to anybody. Uh, and that was just really great. Uh, the, the whole thing was together, the dance and the, the music and the poetry was just working so well together. I think this was hands down my, probably my favorite film. Um, I just loved how everything was orchestrated together and like everyone's been saying, like the dancing is very, um, very intricate and very intimate. Um, but I also loved how um, they almost programmed when um, the artist was speaking and when she wasn't speaking. So you kind of get to, there's a big, bigger focal point to when the dance is when she's not speaking. 
but then there's also a bigger focal point to her words when she is speaking kind of thing. And, and you kind of go through that journey together to, to put those two together and recognize the story for uh, what it actually means. Um, so I think all together, like, you know, hats off to this film. Like, I, I personally enjoyed it the most, maybe just because I'm like a huge softy and very scenty. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it was <laughs> very well put together. Um, so I have a lot of respect for all filmmakers, but um, I think I resonate with this one the most as well.